Hello and welcome to the Patrick and Scott Show. Starring Patrick. And Scott. That's right. And how are you doing today, viewers? Oh, that's nice. Yes. What What, what did you do? You t Oh, you scallywag. Okay. It's good to hear that. You're going to you have to go to confession for that. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> As you may have noticed, Scott's talking in a British accent. I don't know what you're talking about. I always talk like this, and that will never change. There's no way I'll ever talk in any other accent, ever. Especially not many different ones in the same show. It was uh, a bet placed by our viewers against that you'd probably lose a lot of money. I would but not there's really not. Of, yes. I guarantee you that there is no such bet placed. Yes, because that would be very, very wrong. Uh -oh. oh, excuse me, I, I belched. Interesting. Not only interesting, but masturbating. What? So what did you do today, Patrick? Well, I got up, had breakfast, had lunch... Had dinner. Those were the highlights. <laughs> that and doing this show. Yeah. Well, sounds quite fascinating to me. Um, what What else have you have you done? Anything else fun? Oh. The microphone. Yes, you did the microphone. You had sex with it. Also, you talked into it. I did not have sex with the microphone. But did you talk to it? Okay. Did you Maybe. make sweet vocal love to it? Perhaps, but that's inside the point, Scott. Well, yes, it is inside the point. But anyway... Why must you turn everything into a sex joke? Because sex is not a joke, therefore you have to joke about it. So while you are eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner... That's, right, that's one of the things you know, Scott. You, Because you have a genius IQ, you know? Yes, I do have a genius IQ of 145, while Patrick has one of 166. Yes. That is quite a high number. If you don't notice, there's a very scary sound in the background, and that is my girlfriend trying to call me, but I'm too busy talking right now, so she's okay, going to have to get okay, over it. Uh, Scott's girlfriend, if you're listening to this show, it's Stop not... Stop calling <laughs> <me>. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to help you there, Scott, but... I oh, know you were, but, you know, it was too much fun just to ignore. So, anyway... Bloody hell, Larry. Okay, I... What I did today is that I went down to my band's house, and we had a little rehearsal, and, uh, I got lots of copies of our CDs, and on the, what we on a compilation CD as well. Cardinal skin. Cardinal skin. It's like a cardinal sin, but it's a skin. So there's a picture of a bird with skin. Quite interesting, actually. And we have buttons. We have buttons. Buttons? We the have tiger? No, not buttons. The tiger. Buttons, buttons the line? No, buttons that you place on your uh, clothing and other apparel. Oh, those are good too. Uh, not quite as long as you have buttons on mine, so you know, bears on mine. But you know, the point is, I got merchandise from the band Cicada Sunrise, which you can also find yes. on iTunes. Cicada Sunrise. C i c a d a s u n r i s e. Yes, it sounds like a horrible cheerleading cheer, but uh, that's what it is. And you can find us on iTunes, so you can. Why is it directly. sunrises always seem to have a deadly effect on them? Now? They always seem so. Well, they only come up every seven years that it is. Scott, what planet do you live on? I believe I live on a Krypton. Scott. On my old planet, things were very different than they are here. Oh, then tell me all about it. Well, over there, people like me are viewed as being very stupid. What's that? Do you, do you live on a uh, planet Da Vinci? You know, like on Futurama? Yeah. <laughs> Leonardo that da Vinci. was loosely based on the story of my life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci was literally the retard of the group. <laughs> Even the buff jocks had an IQ of like millions higher than his. <laughs> it's like, you can't even build a real flying machine. It breaks and you fall and die. It's a, imagine if that were like really... like Imagine like if there was a planet where like everyone were smarter than us. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's called England. <laughs> Stupid fat Americans. Oh, I, I actually listened to a thing on the BBC. It's like, did you did you hear about America? They have those uh, 
Chocolate-covered pretzels. I mean, no wonder they are so massive. That was like <laughs> what, that was what the commentator said. Well, this Their is quite food is good. It's quite an accurate statement. Who the hell is doing anything? Does someone send a textual message? We're sorry. It's okay. I'm just touching myself. So, Patrick, what are your plans for the weekend? <laughs> How am I supposed to know that? Because it's Friday, got to get down on it, and it's time to know it's for the weekend. Oh, no. No, we, we, we did not just reference that song in our show. <laughs> Unfortunately, we did, but it's okay, because the apocalypse now, is happening. Now no I'm what. going to have to follow the saying that Tezande should cover that song, since he's black. They should call it Black Friday. They should, but that wouldn't be horrible racist, because that's okay. Oh, my girlfriend's mad at me. You want to hear it? Okay. Let's start from the beginning. We're, we're, we're about to listen to Scott's girlfriend being mad at him. We're sorry. Hooray for private me. conversations being shared. She stuck her tongue out with me and she made a raspberry. I found it quite offensive. I'm about to tell Edward to shut the hell up. Edward oh. is uh, Patrick's uh, schizophrenic dog. Has multiple her personalities real name's Alice. Well. No, no, her real name is Chloe, and then we also call it Alice and Edward and. Whatever. Oh, come on, no, one's no one wants to call it whatever that is you just called it. Its Edward. name is Alice. <laughs> Edward? No, the other thing. Oh, you mean Chloe? Please don't. Say I that find that I find that Chloe reminds me of Smallville. It's just such a stupid name. I agree, but you know, it's, it's, it's technically its real name, but I prefer to call it Edward because it's a sparkling homosexual vampire. Poor Alice. Oh, poor Edward. Yes. <laughs> it keeps whining at me. I'm about to run over. No, my, my father's business. name is Edward. My I grandfather's name is Edward. Your name's Patrick. My great grandfather's name was Edward. <laughs> Everyone in my family was named Edward before me, except for you. I'm the f well, no, it's that's not. First. But I well, the first one in America. Anyway. The first one born in America, yeah. Yes, and it's good to break your. If you didn't do that, then everything would be boring. Boring, 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 Borat. My wife. <laughs> oh, Borat! I Look love at this. Yeah. How much? He's <laughs> nice. <laughs> I can't believe I just impersonated that Jewish man. I cannot. Sasha He's not Baron. Jewish. Just no, yeah, the guy who, no, the guy who plays Baron him is Jewish. Sasha Cohen is a filthy Jew, and we will have no part in him unless we're also doing Bruno. Mm. Oh yeah, Dolce and Gabbana. Hello. <laughs> That's all I will do because he is a flaming horror popsicle, and whoever one wants a lick. What about the other guy? Uh, Ali G. Yes, Ali G. Ali G. Well, he was British, so it was okay. But he was What's a up white from guy the west who side? Thought he was black. He, he, no, he was truly black inside. Edward, I'll kill you. Stop barking. Can you hear that? Yes, I hear her noise. <laughs> oh, you're asking the audience. Uh, I almost hear the audience. What do you think, <laughs> audience? Okay, should I a give her a pet and tell her to hush? B tear off her nipple with a straight razor. Or C, fart into the microphone. I think the first one would be the least offensive option. Well, uh, considering I don't want to get my switch blade, my uh, straight razor dirty, and I don't have the ability to fart right now because I had my anus removed in a horrible anus removing accident. And I've also, <laughs> this microphone is expensive. Yes, it is. It's, it's very, it's a very nice microphone. Nice setup. I believe I will pet the dog, and uh, while I'm petting the dog, we will take a quick break, and you two... What? Uh, uh, after only ten minutes, what? It's, it's after only ten minutes, but then we're going to have a wonderful uh, song, Time. and then we're going to have a huge segment in between, and then we're going to have a break with another song, and then we're going to have a shorter segment after, so it's like a... And it's like it as a WWE championship belt. <laughs> or it's obnoxiously big in the middle. Uh, you know what they say, Scott? An apple a day keeps the black people away. 
Scott, you really do not want to be viewed as being racist. I'm not racist. My British personality is. I can't be racist. I go to Cleveland State. <laughs> if I was, I'd be dead by now. <laughs> that is an accurate statement. He goes to Cleveland State, it's true. I do, and I'd be killed if I was racist because it's mostly black people and I'd die. Black people everywhere. Black people got no reason. Scott, stop! It's like writing them in short people, but with black people. Scott, do you want to get shot? That rhymes. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> that rhymes. Why not? <laughs> but I could smoke some pot, but it's too far away, so I'm going to take a nap and pretend that I'm gay. Okay, we're going away. Yes, we are. So, we're going to take a quick break. Wait. We're going to play a song by Cicada Sunrise, my band, called Domino. We'll be back right after... It, it, it's good. It is me. It's, it's pretty it's good. We got a short a black song. Jew as our lead singer. All that's not <laughs> racist. That's actually accurate. <laughs> and we'll be back after this song. Penis.
Hello again! Welcome back to the Patrick and Scott Show. Welcome back indeed. Yes. I bet you thought we wouldn't start so quickly. Yes, you know, right. interrupting the song at the very end. <laughs> That's right. <And> Almost <laughs> seamlessly. Like we were radiant creatures from another dimension. Like we conquer it. Like there's a crazy dog in the room who Scott insists on having. <laughs> it's like an elephant in the room, except it's a dog. Elephant. She put up beef face. Only one big dog. And elephant. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Like the puppy keeps singing. And your puppy takes your poo at the puppy days. Seth, this is a very interesting situation. Yes, it is. We have a we have a puppy in the room. And it's a very fuzzy one, too. It's a very cute. Is it a puppy? As you know, her name is Alice. Her name is Edward. And Chloe, and Alice, and Sebastian Wilmington III. And Beatrice. And Beatrice. Beatrice, who's a puppy, who's a puppy, I'm carrying you backwards, so your butt's facing (laughs) forwards. It's quite very awkward, but I don't give a fuck. Have you ever given a fuck about whether things are awkward, Scott? I took a shit in a tuba once. I took a shit in San Francisco. Oh, you did? Well, I took a... Oh, here's another one. I'm a bad boy! <laughs> poor, oh, poor bad boy, dude. this makes for good entertainment. <laughs> I wonder what my girlfriend said to me this time. Well, we're about to find out now, aren't we? <laughs> I'm probably going to be raped, aren't I? Well, let's find out, shall we? I love you too, but you're American, so go to hell. Anyway, I was talking... (laughs) Oh, oh, yeah, you're in British persona. I was like, wait, I was confused. (laughs) I still don't know what you're talking about, British persona. I've been this way my whole life. (laughs) Scott, British people are very interesting. Yes, they are. They have tea and crumpets and crackers, and they watch cricket and play scrimmage. They are just so fancy. You gotta love them. Yes, they are. Even the lowest class of them still is better than any American. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'd put it like that. But well, I would, and I'd put it like that in any American yeah, sure. woman just because I want to spite them. Okay. Hey, did, did I ever tell you about Parliament's secret plan to capture uh, people in the American market to listen to British music? No, you never told me about that. Tell me all about it, Patrick. Well, you know, they were, they were worried because there's all these British girls that are they're trying to have pop success around the world, and they, they never have success in America. I mean, they had Lily Allen, Jesse J, all these girls. So they said, you know what? We should just build a computerized woman who can succeed in the American market. Oh, who would that be? Well, I mean, it's, not, it's, it's not a Mac. Well, is it a Dell? Exactly! Oh, it's, it's, you see the humor there? See, we're recording on Adele right now! Uh, well, yes, but not... The, well, well yes, because I guess if you believe that she... It, whatever, you know what we're saying. Yes, we believe in miracles, and so should you. Edward, why are you getting so fussy? <laughs> this is a crazy dog. It's a crazy dog. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, and she farted. <laughs> that it smells bad. That's not good for our ratings, Scott. Nope, and it's not good for my nose either. Anywho. Okay, now... Well, I, 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 someone called me earlier. They said they wanted to come into the studio, and I was reluctant. Well, let's just say they're not exactly the most PC person in the world. Neither am I, by any accounts, but... So they're a Mac person, huh? Yes, they're, they're, a, they're a non-PC Mac person. And uh, they also are not politically correct. 
Oh! Yes, and you could even say they're borderline racist. Yes. Um, I, I, I can get it if you want. He, he's waiting outside. I, I haven't brought him in because I, I didn't know how he'd react to him, quite honestly. Edward, I'm going to smack you across the face. So anyway, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get him. Hans, can you come on here? Hans, that was good to see you. Oh, hello there! It's nice to see you. My name's Hans Brinker. I'm from Dusseldorf. It's nice to meet you, Herr Patrick. Herr Scott. It's nice to meet you. Oh, it's so good, so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what can I do, little puppy? What can I do? Oh, I love little puppies. It's so cute. But my name is Hans Brinker. I'm from Dusseldorf. Uh, I, uh, I, what you call a, a, a preservationist. I like uh, preserving history and trying to make it continue, no matter what. Uh, and in what ways do you think you can accomplish this? Well, uh, I'm trying to preserve uh, 1943 Germany. And uh, I'm, I'm trying very hard. It's, it's hard to find people these days that really appreciate Germany in the 1940s at all. Um, it, it's, see, there's this whole thing, this imaginary thing they call the Holocaust. And, uh, you know, it's like Peter Pan, but a lot sadder, apparently. And uh, no one comes back, and no one grows up because they're all dead. Um, and apparently they are... Uh, they they are going to uh they're like there are like nine thousand of them in an ashtray. I don't know how it works. I didn't pay attention. But the point is, nineteen forty four in Germany was a very good year. The economy was booming, and scientific advancements were shooting up like uh, uh, daisies in a concentration camp. So it was very good. Don't worry, it's a camp where you learn how to concentrate better. Trust me, it really helped me with this math because that was terrible. <laughs> It was very bad to crunch the bad math in 1940s jumping. They, they, they won't be happy. They won't be. Because you need to count up all the... Ju I mean, you have to count up all the people that are in the concentration camp trying to learn better. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm... I... Um, I'm concentrating. I'm, I'm oh, see, I'm doing my job! Look at that! I'm bringing back the good old times! That's right, yeah! Oh! I had, oh, before I came here, I, I didn't drink as much as I normally do, because normally I drink about four bottles of Jägermeister, I have a bottle of schnapps, and polish it off with about 90 Heineken. But today I only had 30 Heinekens, just a little bit of schnapps, because my wife said, Hans, you're going out today, and you're going to go to America, which will take a very long time, and if you're drunk the whole time, you're going to be arrested for being drunk and disorderly, which is apparently a crime in this godforsaken rock. <laughs> so, uh, she didn't have quite as much, no. It, it's kind of sad, and the only thing keeping me sane right now is this puppy. <laughs> oh, look at you, you're biting your rope like you're trying to escape, just like the Jews back... I mean, you're having fun playing with a toy, that's right. That's right, that's exactly what I said and I'm sticking to it. So, Herr Patrick, tell me more about yourself. I just met you, so tell me more, which is anything that you haven't said because I haven't heard anything, because I've never been here. <laughs> I'm Patrick. Oh, I didn't know that! That's very nice! I'm an American. You're an American? Oh, see, unlike uh, Herr Scott over there, I appreciate Americans for who they are. I don't just be like, oh, they're stupid, they're fat, and they're, they're dumb, and they're stupid and fat. See, I don't do that because I know that every human life is worth fire, except for the Jews and Jews. And that, uh, uh, what? And I, I, I believe in equality for all people, and I believe that furnaces should be more affordable and should be gas powered. But that's just me. Well, you Germans have some. We're very practical. Ideas. Very practical. It's very cost efficient, except for the gas bill when it comes in. Oh. But anyway. I wanted to talk about the show. What? What's the show about? We do some work in plenaries. The, the the show is about um, me and Scott being crazy, that's and that's people that's thinking it's hilarious. That's not like a good Scott. Have Scott. Yes, I've been quite quiet up until this point, haven't I? 
Oh, yeah, you have been, but uh, can you tell me what you think about the show? Well, uh, if I had to describe it, I'd say it's uh, basically a Death to America kind of show. It's nothing like that at and all. Death to America and your fat, obese, lard asses. That's we got the best food. Well, I, I'll give you that. I've had McDonald's before, and when my heart started to, you know, going into a anaphylactic shock, uh, I realized that it was the most delicious food I've ever had in my life. But the point is, this, I, I, I'd uh, say, I, in a more serious note, this show is pretty much whatever me and Patrick want to be talking about during that day, talking about either our days, something funny we heard, uh, just bringing information that we think is relevant, or just having just jolly old fun all the way through. Information oh. the public we think is relevant. Should, do we ever do like a serious skit? Like a serious skit? A serious skit? Why would you do a serious skit? Well, you see, um... Uh, just for the hell of it, let's just... Herr Hans, uh, we could do a serious skit. We could talk about, uh, there's a certain musician that, uh, is, uh, well, let's just say she's not as, uh, she wants everyone to burn like a firework. And this is a very <laughs> serious topic. And, uh... And she's evil! Yes, she is. And I think this is something that, uh, that our dear Patrick should touch upon. Patrick, please tell us more about this Catherine. They call her Katie Perry. Oh, that but name we've known her sure. for years as Satan, Lucifer, the devil. Why would she, why would she be the devil? I don't understand. I like her teeth. Her Edward! No. Nine. Why would she, why is she the devil? She has nice purposes. Just like the same party girls. You know what you need. You clearly don't realize the satanic messages in all of Ah, oh, explain it to me, because I don't understand what's going on. I, I just I just like her boobies. I don't even know what music she plays. As I'm sure do most of her fans. But <laughs> <laughs> tits like these, who needs music? You should listen to music. I do. I do listen to music more. Just sometimes I get lost in her eyes and then her other set of eyes. Music in general. Oh yeah, yeah, they do. We have a Tokyo Hotel. We have Beethoven. We have a. It's about it. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. And then we have a. I think a Michael Jackson came there once. Why? But I think he's uh, dead. You know what? I have a question about German. Why do men there have the persistent need to dress like women? I don't know what you're talking about. I went to Las Vegas once, and it was just covered with men dressed like women. Well, okay, yeah, but, like, you, you hear, all, hear all these... Like, Tokyo Hotel, you ever seen, like, the way they dress? Oh, yeah, they look very feminine. I know. It, like, did you know, like, by, like, 50s standards, the, like, the Beatles look like women, mm -hmm. and, like, they learned to dress like that in Germany. Like, it's always, like, what we consider dressed like women, like, it's just, like, how guys dress in Germany, right? Do, do they, like, not see anything? Like oh, do they not see anything? Oh, are you trying to make a clever pun there, young man? Actually, I wasn't. I didn't even notice that. Well, I thing. did not see that coming. Okay, I see this. <laughs> that was horrible. I don't believe you were doing something like that. I could just leave right now, but I won't because I'm so interested in this conversation about Captain Jerry. Um, like, we, we dress like uh, girls sometimes because we love the female sex. It's very nice. I'm holding a puppy in my arms. It's very nice, and it, 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 it brings you back to a nicer time when you were squeezed out of one vagina. So you feel very moist when you dress like a girl, and you feel like you're being attacked by a dog. Well, that's just me, I think. And, uh... <laughs> it's like a battle of the titans. Have you seen that movie Clash of the Titans? It's exactly like that. That's why we dress like girls, because it makes us feel moist and like dogs are attacking us. Which is a very nice fetish back in my country. Tell me more about German fetish culture. Well, I like when people take dumps in our eyes. Uh, nowhere else, just in our eyes, because then we're blinded and then there's a chance we'll get E. coli in our eyeballs. Which is very nice. It's nice to see those little shrimmy things. You know what I'm talking about, the shrimmers? Yes. If, you, if you turn your eyes too quick and then they move. You can get like a whole, like the whole spectrum of the rainbow up there now. 
It's been very nice. I find it very tantalizing. Friends me on like no other. And then Germans like when uh, someone dresses up like a like a naughtiness, but is that what you call it, naughtiness? Yes. And uh, they they take uh, heroin and they inject it right into your ball sack. Oh, you have no idea. I came so hard that it was like Niagara Falls out of my penis. Yes. If you're wondering what an incoherent grunting is, that's a Scott is uh, shellacking my schlong. So, it is not a puppy. Scott is shellacking my schlong. <sighs> it's quite good. I like the taste. That's right. Yeah, get back to work, you little Nancy boy. Oh. Oh, you're going to be quite fierce, aren't you? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you grow like that. That's good. Here, let me pat behind your ears. Ow! Stop it. Okay. So anyway, back where we were. Um, so why is Katy Perry the devil? Well, you see, long ago, she was an angel who God got mad at because she tried to overthrow him because she was evil. That is right, Dad! I, I know that part with the devil, Lucifer, Iblis, you know, Judas, whatever his name was. Child. Judas was one of the apostles. I heard he was a priest. Jesus. Judas priest? Never heard of him? That is a joke, I am sure. No, no, no! That's, oh, wait, that might have been a band. Hey, did I ever tell you the story of the person whose name isn't Harry. There's no, you a, didn't. There's a guy named Steve. The end. Oh! <laughs> See, that's a very accurate description. I'm playing a guy named Steve in a play right now. Oh, what is it? Almost made. Oh! Uh, where is this being held? Where is it in real life, or where is it supposed in to In real be? life, and then we're talking about where it's supposed to go. In, in real life, it's being held in Strongsville, Ohio, at Altenheim Community Center. On Schirmer Road? Yes! Oh, that's a very nice place I heard from yes, in Germany is. that I oddly enough heard about. Yeah, it, this place is so famous worldwide, it's it's one of the few places that... You could go anywhere. You could go to, uh, like, New Guinea, and, like, there's all these pygmies, and they're like, I walk up Schirmer Road. <laughs> It's very interesting. You'd think they wouldn't know shape, but they do. But, uh, yeah, I, I heard it's over there, and it's being run by the Royalton players. The, the Royalton players? The Royalton players. Herr Scott, aren't you part of that? Uh, yes, I am. I happen to be the vice president of the Royalton players. I also run the website, and I uh, help write some of the shows. Oh, you don't say! But isn't that just a him dung ding a wonderful wunderbar? Isn't there a show called... What are you doing? No, I, I, I never know. Anyway. You know, there are many interesting what questions about theater. Yes, there are. Tell me, what's your favorite show, Patrick? Hmm. I don't know. I'm what's your favorite musical? I'm, 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 I'm thinking. I, I, I don't know, like, I can pick, like, the best one off the top of my head. Uh, what's one that you've watched recently that you've liked? One that I've watched recently, like... Within the last, like, year or so. Oh, are you trying to... Did, 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 did you mean War and All Too Real Christmas Story? Oh, what's that? It is a, uh, musical starring... A, a guy named Kenneth Alstick. He's like the main main character. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and then there's these other characters like... Uh, uh, they're probably not as important. Well, don't, even, don't even bother naming them. I mean, to hell with all of them! To hell in fan! But that's just me. So, um... What, what's the premise of this show? It's about Christmas at a military base in Afghanistan. But not the... Not a very happy time because it's even though it's Christmas, you stare at war, so it's very scary. This is what this is what war war This is what this is what war war We go to war now to 
defend all that we love. That's a very nice song. How did I know that? I don't know. I don't know either. Who wrote that? Scott. Oh, you mean Herr Scott over here? Yes, that's very right. I, I wrote the shows. There's quite a toll of my mind and body I need. I needed such a long nap of that, and I didn't get it. That's right, there was a piano. I don't know if you ever heard of it. It used to be called a clavier. Yeah, it's German. Yeah, because we're awesome. As you notice, that's a little... Okay. But that's okay because it, no one's perfect and nothing's perfect in my life. Oh, except, that's not except true. Except for me because I'm German and Germans are made for perfection. Germans are made for perfection. We strive for perfection. We make perfection. Have you ever seen a BMW? Jesus Christ, it's better than anything you've ever done. Edward? Edward, get out. Get out of there. No fun for you. Sit down. Don't breathe. Okay. So, Herr Patrick, tell me, tell me more about uh, your goings on. Are you are you working on anything right now? You mean Leonardo? What, what Leonardo? What, what Da Vinci? What are you no, talking about? No, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, what silly. about him? Leonardo DiCaprio. You know, at the end of Titanic, he sinks into the ocean. Then at the beginning of Inception, he's found on the beach. So, oh, that's a very strange Scott coincidence. Would, yeah, well, me and Scott would well, read write a musical about what happens in between. Yes, and it's a very nice thing to write. It's, uh, it's, it's I mean, it's come along quite along over these past only a week. This past week, it's like the whole score is pretty much done. <laughs> I, it's basically, I, I just, I just pooed it out, and it came out like it's like a, I laid a, a poo of gold. That's, that's a very, that's a very God. disturbing description. I mean, even if poor's God doesn't it stink? No, it smells like victory. But I guess that's okay then. Okay, this is. Scott, I could go on all night listing my fetishes, but that's not how we want to spend the show, is it? Well, I'd like, I'd like Bethany to hear it. Maybe like you made me name a couple. I'd like if you named like one of them. I, I, think did not I did not make you name. Well, you implied it heavily because you asked. You did ask, actually. I did ask. Kindness. But, you know, in the spirit but it was of your choice to, to go along with In the spirit of kindness, I had to answer. In the spirit of kindness, you had to answer two. So just name one your fetish that you like. How can I name one? I mean, if you do it, I'm sure Scott will join in too. Oh, I couldn't. It's just to tell you one. What about Patrick? Will you do one with us? Edward will do one too. <laughs> you know, right, well, I, 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 I do one with you. I, I prefer my uh, fetish partners to be women. Uh. Well, uh, <laughs> sometimes you don't have a choice, and that's called rape, and it's great. I mean, rape fetish. I mean, huh? I mean, consensual right. sex is the only kind. <laughs> such a, a statement of. Okay. Anyway, uh, so what is it? Fun fetish. Fun little fetish that you have of your own. A fun fetish? Well, all of them are fun. Okay, silly. give me the, <laughs> give me the raunchiest, most dirty, borderline illegal one you have. That might damage my reputation. Okay, give me the sissiest, most <laughs> boring. <laughs> like, I like to masturbate on top of paper, or, you know, whatever that might be. I don't know. What's considered a fetish? If it's something that is off the beating path of uh, sexuality. I don't know. What do, what do normal people consider sex? Um, just basically a uh, missionary position for the sole purpose of procreation. So, um... If you said... <laughs> Oh no, it's only birds of friends. It's only birds of friends. It's my iPod, not Scott's. 
Just Scott, Scott is, he might have an IQ of 145, but just it's too stupid to play Rose of Friends because it's not worth it, doesn't it, at first? Okay, listen. You know that I am 19 days older than Scott, right? Oh, you are? And we're both 19 years old. Oh, that's kind of strange. So based on that, we looked on Channel 19. On TV? Yes. Oh, I talked to him on the radio. The radio? Oh, Channel 19. The radio would not have a Channel 19. Oh, it does in Germany. I wouldn't doubt it. The Germans are... Oh, they're fickle people. So tell me, what, uh, what did you find? Happy days. Oh, so you have happy days ahead. Indeed. Oh, that's such a nice sentiment. I always put my headphones on, the right one first, and then the left one. Because that way, instead of sending the message that in the future I will find that what uh, is that a oh that's just the oh well okay so that sends the sentiment that I, I can't I, like I can hear that very loudly in oh we can't have that that's my trip on a trip I'm going to trip that's okay to spur come on that's okay to spur we'll be right back. the dog, by the way. Um, I know, after that waste of time. <laughs> but, yeah, I always put my headphones on. First the right one, and then the left one. Because that is a positive message, you know? I Instead of saying one. that I will find what's left is not right, it tells me that what's right will not be left. You see what I mean? I know what you mean. It's a very nice sentiment. It's a very, very nice sentiment. Uh, very nice. What do you say? You know what? I, I have to go. I'm I'm tired and I have to take a I'll nice... Be I gotta take a 14 hour hat. Truth! Well, I'm sure glad he's gone. He wouldn't let me get a word in edgewise. Kept moving my raising my hand. It's my show. I had to raise my own hand and he still ignored me. Okay. He's such well, a you know what? You know who we should talk to? Who should we talk to? I think you know who you should talk to. Who is this? Well... Whoever this is, they're very thirsty. They're very thirsty, whoever you are. Me? I'm Patrick. He's... He's... Are you telling me another guest is coming in here? Another one? God damn it, I gotta go to the door. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Excuse me, you uh, need to be coming in this door, please. Uh, get the hell... I, I... Get no, out of here. I, I come to make your show better. No, no, no. You shut the fuck up. I'm going no, to... No, I, I wish to talk to you about your show. But I, I don't want... I don't want you to... I don't want you to hear my show. Do you... Would you like me to... service you in any other way? I, I don't know what you're implying. I have no, uh... The, the British don't understand innuendo or sarcasm. We just speak plainly with monotone voices. Okay, well, I think that the main problem here is that Scott has an unwillingness to change his persona so that we can make the show a little bit better. I have no idea what you're talking about. I've been this way my whole life. You want to believe that you're something you're not! I have no idea what you are talking about, but I will touch myself and think oh, about it. Oh, you will touch yourself and think of me like all the women in the... Anyway. Well. Mm. Why are you singing so happily, Patrick? Because 
Happy days are ahead of me. Oh, I suppose and, that's true. Well, see, if I thought about my present, it might make me sad. So I, I don't. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I pretend I'm not going to have to deal with this. Deal with it. It'll all end soon. And that's the best way for everything. If everything just ended very soon, in any way, shape, or form, hey, any capacity. You, you know, yeah, wait, no, no, no. You gotta, like, I, I, this one time. Yeah, man. I, I, I ordered a chicken pot pie. Yeah, tell me about it, man. No, I go, I go to KFC. That one time they had that special, you know, like, the chicken pot pie, man, like. Yeah, dude. And I go there and there's like, there's like no pot in there. Bro, why would they do that? I, I don't know. I find that horribly uncouth of them. I know. Like, what, what was that about? See, that's why you can't go to an American restaurant because they just jip you like a gypsy. <laughs> gypsies. But, but gypsies, in my country, gypsies viewed as as bad. But you don't seem to understand, eh? Uh, a gypsy is a dirty, dirty, dirty thing. No, I totally understand. We know where you are coming from. You do? I, I, it doesn't seem like you do, though. Because gypsies are dirty, nasty pieces of poo. As I said, they yield with much suspicion. Hey. I mean, I, I wouldn't say much suspicion. I, I, I'd just say we kill them outright, but... Yeah. That is the easy way out. Yes, and most of the women are the easy way in, so... Are you making a joke at the expense of... A whole country, women? yes. I am making a joke at the expense... No, no, gypsy women? All gypsy women are dirty, dirty skanks. And that makes it wonderful, but horrible at the same time. Horrible? Wonderful? I will tell you what's horrible and wonderful. Tell me, what's horrible and wonderful? I Thinking about your safety. I never think about my own safety. I rush headlong into things. And that's... What is that? Tell me. That is capitalism. No, capitalism is when you make money. Is it Sparta? No, no, money. You know, it's about the money. Show me the money. <laughs> Show me the money. <laughs> I am a wonderful singer. My voice goes out of monotone for that small amount hey, of time. did you notice that in Eastern European countries, all their currencies are like L E and then some other letter? Because it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a leisurely euro, and then no no like in like in Eastern Europe they generally don't use the euro. No right? you no you don't understand. I am not American and you are. Therefore I know more than you no matter what. You are just an, an obscene British person. Oh no, I'm not obscene. I haven't said fuck in five times. Fuck, 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 fuck. Now I'm See, obscene. See, now you've said it twenty times. No, that's more of like seven because I. Se no, no, no. Hello there. Somewhere between doing? seven and twenty. Fuck out of my house. I'm going to have sex with you later. Yeah, okay. He's going to have sex with you later. British people always do things like that. You know what, Patrick? How about we take a break and I'm going to have sex with her, and then when we come back. Well, uh, I'll show you, tell you uh, what happened in between that time. Uh, what song do we have coming up next, Patrick? Okay, well, this is a song by a, a friend of mine's band that does uh, a song called uh, Conversation in a Living Room. They're called The Suburbanites. Okay, so we'll be right back after the Conversation in a Living Room to the Patrick and Scott Show. Penis.
Suburbanites? Uh, Conversation in a Living Room. Conversation in a Living Room by the Suburbanites. It should have been called Song Z. That's the name I picked for it. But and they should have done it because you're a good fellow. Good yes chap. I am. Very good chap. Well, that's like, did you hear this? Did you hear the oh. bell rattling in the background, audience? Did you hear him? Yeah, they put him back. They put him back in the Perfect. cage and she died, but she came back to life apparently. Didn't die. Well, I killed her. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but, but the, anyway, what were we talking about before the break? Oh, oh! If you were to take, if you had uh, someone who loved the flowers, lilacs, you might say they were a combination of the currencies of Bulgaria, Romania, and Albania. Love lilac. <laughs> Love lilac. That's a very clever thing, and that's very clever, Patrick. You know why that's clever? Because as an American, you coming up with anything is quite clever. 
because Americans are the scum stupidity of the earth. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. So remember that when you go to sleep tonight. Uh, You're nothing but utter poo. It's better than being utter poo, but it's still utter poo. Hey, we won the revolution 24 to nothing. <laughs> well, I guess you may have a point there, but I heard it was 4 to nothing. It was 24 to nothing, and you know it. I thought it was 7 plus 4 to nothing. You're confusing me. Oh, no, wasn't it July 4th? Seven and four to nothing. Ooh, but it would be. But uh, as we would say, it would be four and seven to nothing because uh, you Americans are stupid and you decide to switch up the months and the days. Well, actually, it's enough. Like my like uh, my birthday would be twenty four ninety two. No twenty four four ninety two. Nice four five ninety two. No no your yours would be five four ninety two. No, it's not May 4th, it's April 5th. No, 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 no you don't understand. <laughs> you Americans are, are bloody stupid. And uh, I, we, we try to fix things, but then you get you, you invented cancer and AIDS and you gave it to all the homosexuals so that uh, you could... We did not do agree. that. No, no, and it's no, only okay for you to say that because it's been more than 22.3 years. That's right. So <laughs> I can talk about, uh, it, I believe, uh, Hans, he tried to avoid the subject of uh, the Holocaust, but it's, yeah, I'm glad he's off on his way. He was a crazy yeah. man. But it, it's okay, because the Holocaust happened more than 22.3 years ago, and that's how long it takes for a tragedy to become funny. Exactly. So 9-11 should be funny in around still another 13-something years. Well, it's been like 10 and a half years, right? I mean, So we still got yeah. about 12 years. Yeah. About 12 years. About 12 years, and then we can make jokes about... Uh, in like late 2023, early 2024, that time. Yeah. Then we'll be able to make 9 11 jokes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can make 7 11 jokes, though. A guy walks into a 7 Eleven and. And a terrorist comes up to him and he's like, Durka Durka Muhammad Jihad! And, and he's like, why, why, are you, why are you talking like that? You're talking in an Indian accent, not in an Arabic accent. He's like, I just like <laughs> to fuck with people because this is the color of my skin. It's very cloth. And I get to come up to them. I'm like, Durka 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 Durka, get them my camel here to get a slurpy. So, that's why 7-Eleven jokes are funny, but 9-Eleven jokes are not. But when you mix them together, it's, it's kind of silly. <laughs> <laughs> if um, an Indian guy were not doing terrorist activities, that would probably be because he was an Indian guy. And Indians rarely engage in terrorist activities, interestingly enough. But they rarely engage in any activities that don't involve curry, because they're smelly, smelly people. Okay. Smelly people who only know how and apparently slurpy machines. And tech support. I'd just like to point out at this point that all racism or seeming racism in this show is for comedic purposes and please don't kill us. I don't know the tell you're talking about. I'm British and I hate everything that's not from Britain. <laughs> So I was cleaning and I was using spick and span and I, I told that spick to get out of my room. Spick and span. <laughs> <laughs> because he was doing a horrible job with the span of time I gave him that spick. Anyway. You seem to be shaking the Diet Coke right into the microphone. You know, I would be shaking my cheese nips, but I wouldn't have time to get a Japanese person with cheese. If I heard this on if I heard this on a show and didn't know what it was, I would be intensely aroused right now. Well, it's good that you're intensely aroused right now because I I'm have a boner just thinking about it. Oh, this sound? Oh yes, to the left, to the left. Everything you own in my box, to the left. Oh yeah. So you want to end or? Well, I think it's a good time to end. This has been the, the Patrick, Patrick and Scott Show, show. a P.T. Choi and Sanjaya Anthem production. <coughs> you can see us next time on the Patrick and Scott Show if you visit our Facebook page. Look up the Patrick, Patrick and Scott, Scott Show. show. Yep. You can also email us at the underscore Patrick underscore and underscore Scott underscore show at yahoo.com. And remember, stay classy and Albanians smell like poo. All right. Penis. Bye. Penis. <laughs>